In this video we look at polar and non-polar molecules. The polarity of a molecule depends on two factors. The first is the presence of polar bonds within the molecule. In the previous video we looked at polar bonds. They are bonds which have a negative dipole and a positive dipole because of the difference in electronegativity. And the second factor is the shape of the molecule. And we'll have a look at molecules with different shapes. So let's start with non-polar molecules. We have three diatomic molecules, O2, H2 and Cl2. All three molecules are non-polar. Because the atoms are the same, there's no difference in electronegativity, therefore they are non-polar molecules. The next non-polar molecule is CH4, which is methane. CH4 is a non-polar molecule. The carbon to hydrogen bond is a non-polar bond. CH4 contains only non-polar bonds, therefore it's a non-polar molecule. Next we'll have a look at examples of non-polar molecules with polar bonds. Carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule even though it has two polar bonds. The polar bonds arise because of the difference in electronegativity between the carbon and the oxygen. The oxygen has a negative dipole and the carbon a positive dipole. Because of the shape of the molecule, which is linear, the bond polarities cancel out. We say the molecule has no net dipole moment, which means it's non-polar. Let's look at another example of a non-polar molecule that has polar bonds. This is carbon tetrachloride. As you can see, it has four polar bonds. The carbon to chlorine is a polar bond because of the difference in electronegativity between the carbon and the chlorine. The chlorine has a negative dipole and the carbon has a positive dipole. Even though it contains four polar bonds, carbon tetrachloride is a non-polar molecule. And that's because the bond polarities, that's the positive and the negative dipoles, they cancel out due to the shape of the molecule. Carbon tetrachloride has a tetrahedral shape and because of that shape, these bond polarities cancel out. We can say the molecule has no net dipole moment. If we compare this molecule with the one we've just looked at, you can see I've changed one of the chlorine atoms for a hydrogen atom. In this molecule we now have three polar bonds, the carbon to chlorine is a polar bond and we have one non-polar bond which is the carbon to hydrogen bond. So what effect does this have on the polarity of the molecule? CHCl3 is a polar molecule. The bond polarities do not cancel out. The molecule has a net dipole moment. In this molecule, I replaced another chlorine with a hydrogen atom. CH2Cl2 is a polar molecule. The bond polarities do not cancel out. The molecule has a net dipole moment. This side of the molecule will have a slight negative charge and this side a slight positive charge. Finally, we'll have a look at two more examples of polar molecules. On the left, we have NH3, which is ammonia. As you can see, we have a net dipole moment with this end of the molecule having a negative dipole and this end of the molecule having a positive dipole. That's because of the difference in electronegativity between the nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms. Our second polar molecule is H2O, which is water. Water has two polar bonds. The difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the hydrogen means that the oxygen has a negative dipole and the hydrogen has a positive dipole. The second factor that makes these polar molecules is their shape. NH3 has a trigonal pyramidal shape and water has a bent shape. Both these molecules are unsymmetrical and that, together with the presence of polar bonds, makes these two polar molecules. So just to recap, both NH3 and H2O are polar molecules due to the shape of the molecule and the presence of polar bonds. Both molecules have a net dipole moment. The bond polarities do not cancel out. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.